Oh, what? Hey, what's the what number is that one? The one back here? Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to get two of them. I might have to get them single, depending on how bad that one is. That black truck, the big one? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay, you got it. Anyway, here we go. We're up. We're going to get that Texas plate. It's a big truck. Um, I don't know what the deal with it is, other than they want it. They want it gone. Looks like it might have some wheels missing off of it or something. I don't know, but we're going to get it loaded, man, and get it out of here. Is your truck? Yeah. Yeah, the office is towing it. No. No, 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 no. I stay there. Hey, one, one minute. Hey, let me cut the truck out where I can hear. Hey, this tire right here, man, if you yeah, drive, I know, I know, I know, I know. it's going to blow out, I man. Know, I know. Wow, it's going to metal. I know, I know. Uh, I got it. I only walk there to the kitchen. Yeah. And I didn't find it. And the only one they yeah. want is the guy that drives the Ford. They're the only one. I uh -huh. see knock on my window. Well, they uh, evidently they didn't know this truck was yours. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, uh, they hey, they told me to tow it. Why don't we call? Why don't we call the manager, man? You know what? If she'll let me let you pay the drop fee, you can pay the drop fee. Yeah. And that's not up to me. It's up to the property call. It's not. I, we don't just pull up and tug cars. The office they they call us to come get them. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I said I paid the seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Man, I'm flat broke. Oh. And I'm not even, um, so we are not for guests to go to where the, the lady, yeah. um, they're, um, they're in the room. Yeah. Um, they're supposed to um, let me borrow $50 for the week, but I can't have this morning yet. Yeah. Um, well, listen, why don't we, uh, let's go up to the office and talk to them, but it's going to have to be paid out, man. I mean, it's going to, it's a hundred bucks on, oh, on site. Let's go talk to the office, but they have to give me authorization to drop it. I can't drop it without talking to them. Cause I don't know the whole scenario. I don't know if you're a resident and I don't know if, if it's registered with them. Uh, so I can't drop it till I talk to them. Cause she my, just, my head. Go, go up to the top, go up to the front office. No, I, I, I was um, looking for my key here on this spot. Let me go get my, my head. Yeah, go my get head. your hat. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll go to the office. We'll talk to them. In some situation, uh, well, he's either he's not a resident or his tag is bad, uh, something to that effect. But I can't drop this car. She just ordered this car towed. But I'll give the guy the option of the law. Uh, if he's a resident and it's supposed to be here, if, if, he, if he's not a resident and it don't live here, the law don't apply to that because it's got to be moved off the property, period. Uh, so we're going to find out. We'll go up here and find out from the office manager up here, see what she says. Es que mire, uh, el muchacho me dijo, uh, me va, yo trabajo por una semana porque me acordé mi trabajo. Pero esa no es su camioneta y esa persona no vive aquí. Es, es no, porque yo hablé con una persona. No, esta es mi troca. Esta es mi troca. Es que es tu querido son. Ok, that's fine. That, that's why I didn't want to release it. Sí, hijo. That's fine. Sí, hijo. Sí, hijo. Sí, hijo. 
Ah. Ya le, le dije prometo. que eso no es... No, señor, yo ya hablé ¿Sí? con la persona a, 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 hace dos días que no puede estar aquí con esa camioneta. Yo no, ya le usted está hablando del mendigo borrachero que anda ahí. No, yo ya hablé con la persona que manejó ese carro y todo. Es mi tío casito. Bueno, eso, eso va a tener que hablar por, hasta que tiene, porque todavía tiene la cosa de Texas, no se va a poder. Miren, me la acaban de quitar. Okay, la acabo so de sacar el Ok, so I spoke with the person who actually drives that car two days ago. I told them, yeah. and they say they don't live here. Yeah. They're, they're not allowed to That's why I'm checking with you. I was going to get I was going to give them the option to pay it out if if you said so, but I knew the situation was something with it. Yeah, cuz I spoke with the person who actually owns the car okay. and okay. it's not that person and that person who owns that car stole from 93 East. So okay. Okay. Yeah, we have everything on camera. I got you. I got you. It's got to go. I understand. I'm going to go back and get the other one. Hey, let's go to. Come on. Hey, lo siento. Es mi trabajo. Es mi trabajo. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, she said there's no more. It's my job. Well, she, from Houston, Texas. Well, this. I understand. Oh, but the situation, she, uh, it's not registered to the property. I know, I know. I just, I just, I'll take it out oh, Saturday. By law, let me give you the phone number. Let me give you the phone number. Um, let me give you the telephone numeral. It's got to go off the property, man. It, it's got to go off the property. You have a key to it? You got a key? The guy on By the law, you got a key to it. No, no, no. You I don't just, have a key, I can't oh, drop it. If you don't have a key, I cannot drop it. This, this, the guy in the red truck, he's got the key because there's the one, there was only one minute and I just paid $700. But the, I, listen, listen, I, I, hey, I, I believe you. But for me to release the vehicle to you by law in a payout, you got to have the key. If you don't have the key, I can't release it. I cannot release it to you. Okay. So I got I to tow it off the property. I got I to tow it. And, and I'm sorry, let me give you the number. Let me get you the number. I'll just tell you, hey, listen. That manager said it's got to leave the no, property. There's my, there's my truck. There's my car. I can take you to a lot of people here and there's my truck. You need to come get it out. But right now, it's got to leave the property. And that, that's per property manager. So I can't go. I, I can't go against her. She told me, do not release it. It's got to leave the property. Okay. Um, so, hey, you got the number. It's not very far, man. It's not that far up, man. It's probably 10 miles, man. It's like 10 miles, man, up there to Norcross. Anyway, uh, I really do believe, uh, I really do believe this guy thinks the truck's his. And, uh, and I think that he knows the person that owned the truck. The person that owned the truck uh, may have been somebody he worked with, may have been somebody in his family. But I think that this truck, we'll find out later, but uh, I assume it's got a repo order on it, something like that, and somebody else gave the truck up. And he may, have, he may have told them, I want the truck, and they may have told him, you can have the truck, but it's in repo status or something like that. Now, there's a catch here, uh, but I do believe uh, his belongings, uh, he knew what he was getting off the truck. That's Some of the belongings may be his, because he's friends with the person that has the key. And he said he could get the key from the guy that owns that owns that actually probably had the uh, bank loan on it. Uh, either way, uh, that manager is doing what she what she's got to do, and uh, she talked to the person that owns the truck, and uh, the man that actually is on the truck, registered to the truck, uh, has told her that uh, to tow it. So it's probably a repo, I imagine. Either way, long story short, we're gonna we got one more right here that we're gonna we're supposed to be getting, um, and it's a wrecked vehicle. I've got to go back here and see see if I can even get it loaded or not. Yeah, there's the wrecked one here. I'm pulling up on the wrecked one back here, and it is it's uh it's pretty rough. It's a Nissan. It's like a maximum. It's like a Nissan Maximum. I'm gonna go ahead and back up and load this one. I may have to roll it forward to get it on the wheel lift or drag it, but I'll get it loaded.
Every time I turn around, I got a confrontation. Listen, uh, managers told them, man, the same with this truck here. The guy came out. Oh, they, 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 they got to go. They, they're told them, man. Okay, well. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be harsh on you, man. Or, yeah. I, they, they just told them, man. I, it, it don't run. It's broke down. No, no. What happened is my car got hit by over here. By and listen, the appraiser came and appraised it. And I waited for well, him to uh, check the well, thing listen, and finish fixing it. Are they going to pay you? Yes. So the other guys at fault? Yes. Okay, well, listen, it's, it's real easy. All you do is you, hey, I'm going to I'm, hey, hey, I'm give you a, a copy of our information. Mm -hmm. The guy's going to, what's going to happen, he's going to have to pay. If he's really, you really got a check coming, he's going to pay you quicker because this thing's going to be stuck on the empire lot, racking up 25 a day. That's right. If I'm like, I can't yeah. do that. Yeah. The guy well, no, no, car. he's going to pay you. If he's going to pay you, he's going to, he, he can pay you right out of the lot here at, at, our, at our, where we tow it to. But right now she wants it gone, man. And and I'm not like I said, I'm not trying to be harsh, man. That's what I do. The parts off. Yeah. They'll put the parts on, but I ain't got the radiator on because my car drives and everything. I got a brand new I got you. Oh. So it runs? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you crank this thing up and get it off the property, you know, you're good. If you can drive it okay. off the property. Right now, if you can drive it, I won't take it. By law, you got that right. I'm not I'm not hooked I ain't to got it. The radio, see, I ain't got the radiator. Nothing, everything is in there. Well, see, the, then, it. yeah, the, the, that's the way it works. If you, you can drive it, I, I give you the option to move it, man. I'm not. I'm gonna do it strictly by the book. Are you calling her now? Yes. Okay. And the people came and they appraised the car, but they haven't written me a check yet for my vehicle. My vehicle is a 99 Nissan Maxima parked in front of my apartment. No, no, I'm written out of the room here. Hey, let me talk to her real quick. Yes, hold on. Hey there, this is the tow guy. Uh, I'm back here. I'm back here at the wreck, the one that's wrecked. Uh, he, the, way, the way he's explaining it, it's somebody here on the property backed out and hit the, hit the vehicle here on property. And uh, he says it does run. Says he's waiting on insurance. The insurance is supposed to be coming and getting it and cutting him a check. Right. Is that all? Well, the car's been there like that since the first time we saw it. We did leave um, warnings on that unit and nobody reported. He's not even the, he's not in charge of the unit. Here, a Hispanic male. He's in charge of the unit, not that person. He's just renting an apartment, a, a bedroom. So okay. He's not Okay. Uh, so on the contract it says any unoperating vehicles are going to be towed right away. So that car is, um, has to be towed because it's been on the property like that for a month or two months now. Okay. Okay. Well, he, so he's listening. In it has to be towed and if anything he has to talk to so that's not the whole thing. That's the whole thing, man. Okay. If right, you yeah. was going to do that, it, that's what she wanted you to do uh, already. Well, I can't leave here without the cars. What I'm saying, I'm, I'm I'm trying to be as polite okay, uh, about it as I can do. To the lot where they fixing it. Yeah, I, it, it's it's a called in. You. It's it's a called in impound, man. If I told it, it's an impound fee. That's the whole thing. I was gonna say, hey, will it crank up right now and run? Can you drive it off the property? I can't because the radiator ain't connected. Will it crank? Yeah, I got the battery. Hey, drive that shit off the property and you and and, and then call your tow truck. Uh, the, hey, that, that's the only, the only way I can't not tow it is if you crank it up right now and drive it. Otherwise, you heard what she told me, man. I got to yeah. take the car. I can't not take your car. But listen to me. Hey, the car, you're going to put money in the car. If they're going to pay you a check and tow the car, the car ain't worth nothing. It's going to go to the junkyard. If you really got a check coming that they total the car, they're going to cut you a check. And, hey, they're going to come take the car themselves. You understand? That's how the insurance thing works, man. That's what she was telling you. The process still still works they'll probably pay you for the impound fee if you decide to pay it out they owe you the impound fee fee also I'm waiting a whole month now so i'm like i, I know man i know it's hard to go without a car i understand man i'm not trying to be harsh on you i'm just trying to tell you what my situation is and i got to i have to tow it you know what i'm saying yes i can give you the address and everything How we going, sir? Yeah, no problem. Sorry about your situation. Seriously, yeah. I, I, I've been I've been down in the dirt, man, many times, bro. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man.
rough shape, front end hanging off of it. She's got to answer to somebody about the car not running. And they have to tell us what they do. Uh, but at the end of the day, this car don't it really, when it's all said and done, and I'm pretty sure all states going to pay this guy uh, for the car. And the car's not going to belong to him anymore. So he was trying to fix the car when he really shouldn't have. He shouldn't even shouldn't have been trying to fix the car in the first place. But uh, he was a nice enough guy, man. He's just going through a tough time. Uh, that's his only car, too. He's going through a rough spot. But uh, you got, you know, when you get down like that, man, you got to climb out of that rough spot you're in, man. You got to fight your way back out of it. And that's what I've done my whole life. I do a lot of talking about uh, this and that, man, but I, I've been there. I've had my car impounded. Uh, I've been without a car. I've been without a job, without money, and broke numerous occasions in my life. I had a lot of rough, rough patches I went through. Uh, and I finally, finally figured it out, man. I started holding myself accountable for what I do. But whether you hold yourself accountable or not, life's going to hold you accountable. Mistakes you make, they're going to come back and get you. And if, you, if you're out there trying to survive and trying to work, you got to stay on it, man. Don't ever quit. Never stop trying, man. This guy here, he ain't gave up on it, man. He'll be all right. There's city shambly in here right now. They got, uh, they've got county cars in here, city cars in here. And um, that's what's going on. They got the city of Shambly on property right now. It's an official with Shambly. The Shambly's probably in there talking to this uh, office manager about her property and what changes she needs to make and what she needs to do. So she's she's towing because of Shambly. They're making her tow. That's what they do. The code enforcement make you tow. Anyway. That's the end of that. We're gonna uh, we're gonna run get these to the yard. Anyway, peace.